Hey everybody, it's Nancy here and I'm going to show you a great concept in node investing, which is how you can get the most for your investment money by creating a partial. Well, what's a partial? It's when you sell some of the payments that you're getting from a mortgage note. Let's say you sold a piece of property and you are taking payments over time. Well, that's a note, right? If you made a deal to get payments every month over, I don't know, say 10, 20, 30 years, you can sell some of those payments and still keep the rest of the note. It can even allow you to get all of your money out of the investment while creating a nice cash flow in the future. Let me show you how it works. It starts when you create a note, whether you've sold a property with financing or you buy a note that's already existing. Either way, you'll end up with a piece of paper that represents your investment along with terms for paying back that investment. So what do you do with that note? I should mention first, the great thing about notes is that you can have everything managed for you. When you have a third party servicer manage the payments, they'll keep all the paperwork for you, they'll keep track of the payments, and they'll just simply send you a check. It's a great way to get mailbox money every month. Even better, you can sell any number of payments for a lump sum and have the servicer keep track of who gets what over time. So, how does a note investor sell a partial? First, the note investor gathers all the important information such as how much the note is worth and what it pays and then puts together a simple proposal with all the information about the note and its value. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just all the facts. Then our note investor shares that proposal to his friend or business associate. This is usually a friend who's got cash sitting in an account and not earning enough money. That's called anxious money. He's anxious to get a better return on his money. You know what I mean, right? I mean, if your money is earning a pitiful and pathetic 1%, well, you'd be pretty anxious about that. I know I would. But your proposal will demonstrate to your investor just how much he can make by buying some of the payments on your note. Well, the payments stay the same, but your investor can get a much better interest rate because he's not buying the entire value of the note. And let's say you agree on a deal and you sign an agreement laying out all the details. Well, you can take that agreement, a contract, and record it, giving the anxious money investor rights to the future money stream for part of the whole note term. Well, there's your partial right there. Then. You go back to your third-party servicer and they will administer those payments. They'll notify the homeowners that the loan payments will now be sent to the new investor. So now the anxious money investor gets a steady stream of income from his investment from Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner. And for the next period of time over months or years, the anxious money investor gets a reliable and secure stream of payments. That's going to make him a happy investor, right? especially since these streams of income can pay 6, 7, 8, even 10% on his investment, for example. Well, every deal is different, of course, but that's a lot better than that stinky 1% he was getting before. That third-party servicer, he takes care of all the monthly payment administration, including the letter announcing the change in payments. So the homeowners are notified of the change and the cash flow continues. And once that happens, our investor is back receiving income again. By the time all the payments have been received by the anxious money investor, the, the happy one, right? Our original investor has already received a lump sum to pay him for his original investment. And now he's back in the picture again. He gets still more payments without any money in the deal or very little. That's pretty cool, huh? Well, till next time, here's to your success in note investing.